With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, the moment of inertia of a solid cylinder about its own axis is same as its moment of inertia about an axis passing through its center of gravity and perpendicular to the length, right? The relation between the L and R is. So if you see, it is given that this is a solid cylinder and about its own axis, the moment of inertia is same as that of an axis about uh, uh, passing through its center of gravity and uh, like this if I draw the diagram. So if you see here, this will be the diagram. This is the cylinder and uh, about an axis passing through the center and uh, like this. The moment of inertia is same as that of an axis passing through this axis, right? Let me draw the axis. This. So if I say about this axis, the moment of inertia is I1. And moment of inertia about this axis is I2. So it, it is said that the I1 is equal to I2. Right. So if you see from the side view, it is a it it's like a disc, right? And if you see the moment of inertia about an axis passing through this point, it will it will be same as that of a disc, right? So we know that uh, the disc moment of inertia is m r square by two, and uh, the cylinder will also have the same moment of inertia about an axis passing through uh, about uh, this axis that is along its length and passing through its center. Right? Because the solid cylinder can be considered as elongated disc, right? And if I write down the I2, wait, I2 will be, if you see the moment of inertia of a uh, the cylinder about an axis passing through this center of mass passing axis and perpendicular to the length it is equals to ml square by 12 plus mr square by 4 if you don't remember this you can also get it by doing the integration so how i'll do the integration you can take the element go at a distance of x and uh, take a element of thickness dx and all and after integration also you will get this and put the limit of x from minus l by 2 to plus l by 2 right to get this i2 and just now you, you equate them i will write i1 is equals to i2 so i will write mr square by 2 is equals to mr square by 4 plus ml square by 12. So I will write it is if you see here this is mr square by 4 is equals to ml square by 12. This will get cancelled out and this will also get cancelled out by 3. So finally I will write this 3R square is equals to L square and L is equals to R root 3. Now if you check the option here L is equals to R root 3 is the correct one so B is the correct answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.